Hey, welcome back to our podcast, your go-to source for all things real estate and lifestyle in the heart of Fort Worth, Texas. I'm Jackson Christian Berry. And I'm Jean Christian Berry. <laughs> and together we're here to guide you through the vibrant world of Fort Worth and surrounding suburb living. We believe in creating a community where everyone feels at home. And that's why we're committed to bringing you honest, expert advice in a fun and friendly way. From the bustling streets of downtown to the serene suburbs, we've got the scoop on what makes each area unique. Each week we'll dive into the latest market trends, offer tips for both buyers and sellers, and share insider knowledge to help you make informed decisions. So whether you're a first time home buyer, a seasoned investor, or just curious about some of the Fort Worth charming neighborhoods, you're in the right place. Let's jump into today's episode. Howdy folks, and welcome back to Welcome Home, Fort Worth. We're so excited that you joined us for the podcast this week. Uh, we have an awesome guest today, Woo-hoo! somebody that we uh, like a whole, whole lot. Uh, our buddy Travis is in the studio today. He's gonna talk to us about all things that he and Qualys uh, do for our, our clients and our people. But mm-hmm. um, before we even get into that, let's just go down to the basics. Who are you? What do you like doing in life? What 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 things are fun for you <laughs> to do? Well, well Jackson Christenberry. Uh, <laughs> My name is Travis. I'm with Qualys Roofing and Construction. I've been in this industry for about eight or nine years now. Cool. Um, mm-hmm. Absolutely love it. All you in this know, area? All in this area, nice. all in DFW. Um, it's a huge market. It's one of the biggest markets for roofing and construction. Really? Wow. And I didn't so, know that. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we have, uh, I think to date, like 127 hail events You're just kidding. this year. What? And wow. so there's a huge market for uh, people who need their homes restored after these big storms. That's crazy. Yeah, not including any of the, the cold snaps we get where there are busted pipes sure. everywhere. Yeah. Your occasional fire. We yeah. do it all. Um, but yeah, we're wow. based out of Arlington, Texas, and uh, we do it all. So we we love it. Um, I'm actually from Arlington, cool. uh, born and raised. And what high school? Um, oh, Lamar High School. Okay, Go cool. Bucks! Sweet. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> so, high school, where was that? <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, my wife is a teacher in AISD, and cool. we have mm-hmm. three cool. redheaded little boys that we <laughs> love, and uh, cute, cute they're not too bad. We like them. Mm-hmm. We it's like good. them. It's good. Um, but I'll yeah, see. I just I, I love what I do, and it <laughs> provides a wonderful life for my family, and I am the freedom to do what I need to do on yeah. a daily basis. Yeah, totally. Yeah. What what brought you to this industry? So I was actually, I've been in sales. Um, I worked at Starbucks for a majority of my teenage years no and then got into sales after that uh, with my wife being a teacher. Yeah. Um, I was a uh, manager at Starbucks and I was on you know, call every weekend yeah. and she was off every weekend. So we were like ships passing in the night. Sure. And uh, that's no way to start off a marriage. Totally. So yep. got into sales at uh, Lifetime Fitness um, for oh, wow. a couple of years, kind of oh. worked my way up the ranks there. That's a sweet gig. It, it was yeah. until the same thing happened. I was working yeah. every weekend yeah. and I was like, there's gotta be more. Yeah. So I actually had a member, uh, a regular member come in one day and it was at a different time. Yeah. And I'm like, what, what's the change? So one day I just happened to ask him, hey, what did, what did you do that's different? Yeah. And um, he was in a different season of life than I was, but yeah. he said, I got into construction, man. I'm a general contractor. Whoa. I do roofing. And uh, you've seen Wolf of Wall Street where he's like, you showed me a check for right. $70,000 from last <laughs> month and I quit my job yeah, today. Totally. He showed me a couple of checks and uh, I was out in about two weeks. Yeah. Wow. And um, I don't think I've you know worked more than a handful of weekends yeah. since then. Um, like I said, it's just offered me the, the, That's amazing. you know, the flexibility of the schedule to drop off kids, yep. pick them up and have those weekend trips yeah. and mm-hmm. do whatever. So that's what got me into it. That's awesome. Well, yeah. part of that is you're such, you're so great with people. Mm-hmm. I mean, you take care of our clients so well and you provide I, such good service. I enjoy helping people. Yeah. It's kind of a weird thing, roofing and construction. It's, you know, in the age of YouTube, you mm-hmm. can YouTube a lot, but there's a certain skill set that comes with it. Yes. And, and tools. Whereas, yes. And tools that you just need. Yeah. yeah. And I'm handy to a yeah. point um, after putting in our own flooring. Um, I'm not that handy <laughs> um, and it shows, but um, I'm not the one working on your roof. Yeah. I have guys for that, but I am the one to hold your hand throughout the entire yeah. process yeah. and uh, really kind of, you know, make it easier for you. Yeah. You know, you have a life, you have a career, yeah. you have a family, you have all these things. Yeah. You have to do the last thing you need to worry about is scheduling crews, ordering materials, making sure totally. things cleaned up after. Can you imagine? Um, mm-hmm. That would just being be insured, being making insured, sure that yeah. you don't run yeah. off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we take care of all that for you, yeah. so mm-hmm. you can just go about your daily life. It's cool, man. Yeah, absolutely. Has uh, has has being in this area influenced, or being like a homegrown kind of person in this area influenced at all yes. the way in which you go about it, or connections that you have, or anything like that? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, I would say the biggest thing is in um, 
in roofing, there's a lot of door knocking, and oh, I'm yeah. not I'm not here to to knock it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. But <laughs> um, no, <laughs> bad. I'm so sorry. What would you say earlier? Mingle, uh, uh, shingle, yes. ready to mingle. <laughs> um, no, I'm not. I'm not I here. I'm not here to downplay door knocking because that's the the best form of marketing. You yeah. know, you're you're getting face to face with people. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. But typically, when people see me at the doors, they think I'm the repo man. Yeah. I'm not uh, yes. your typical 18, 20 year old with uh -huh. a clean cut yeah. face selling pest control or, or roofing or solar yep. or something like that. Um, and so being from Arlington, I have uh, kind of just organically created a network. Um, like yeah. I said earlier, you know, before this started, I have a lot of friends and as I got into roofing, their parents needed roofs and they knew me from high school. Yeah. Um, and so I was able to help them out. Now yeah. I have friends who are starting families of their own and buying homes of yeah, their own. Awesome. Yeah. And now I'm able to help them mm -hmm. out. Yep. And so uh, I just use that and social media presence yeah, and yeah. just, you know, word of mouth is the best way to get yeah. business. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the, that's mm -hmm. one of our favorite parts yeah. of doing something like this, which is having, you know, somebody that we work with a lot on, on the podcast mm -hmm. is because it's so nice to just introduce people to who we trust. Mm -hmm. Right. And who, who we, takes good care of our who people. takes so good care of our people. Yeah. And just, it's, yeah. it's really enjoyable. So I'm glad we get to introduce you to the, yeah, to the world. Absolutely. So. <laughs> I appreciate you having me on. <laughs> absolutely, man. Well, so, uh, you know, a lot of our interactions up to this point have been through more of the roofing side, but mm -hmm. Wallace yeah. does. Yeah a ton of things, right? So at Qualys, let's just jump into to more of the, the business side. What are you doing at Qualys? What's the role? What's that look like for you? In the yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, my role right now is I'm a senior project director at okay. Qualys Home, which means I have a team of guys under me going out and doing the exact same thing I do. I just have more reporting and Good. more coaching and training. Great. Um, whereas I absolutely love to go and help people on a daily basis, multiple times a day. If I could schedule 10 appointments a day and hop mm -hmm. on 10 roofs, mm -hmm. I would be the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> but I've realized that I get I get more joy in helping other people grow cool. their book of business yeah, and man. their income yeah. and, and building their, um, you know, just their their natural growth network yeah. um, in this industry. Yeah. And so well, having such I, a big background in sales yeah. like you do, I mean. There's so many things I'm sure you can teach them and just get them. They're so much faster, which yeah. has to be so nice for them. Yeah, and so some of our guys, you know, they're they're seasoned veterans in roofing. Cool. Some of them are twice my age. Some wow. of them are 10 years younger than I am. Wow. And um, getting the wow. new guys in who don't know anything, yeah. I'm like, listen, your your biggest strength in, in getting business is going to be networking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, going mm -hmm. out to networking events, yep. reaching mm -hmm. out to realtors, yep. insurance yep. agents, and whatnot. Yep. Um, and then even some of our seasoned guys, uh, I always tell them the one thing I love about this business uh, above anything else is you learn something new every day. Yeah, well, sure. I yeah. see something new every day, I'm sure. Yeah, you definitely yeah. see your fair share of new things every day. But uh, yeah. just, you know, taking a snippet of any sort of interaction you have with someone and then finding a way that that fits you or that you can use it in the future yeah. is huge. That's awesome. Cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. But we, we always like what you do with yeah, our people. Time. and. And uh, I think it's really important that you have somebody you can trust mm -hmm. and you're so personable and you know the, the roofing business so well that it's real quick and easy for people to trust you. Yeah, yeah. I um, I think there's a lot of issues in the construction yeah, world. I've got a question about that later. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Then, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> like I said, networking is, is wonderful, especially yeah. when you work with wonderful people like yeah. you two um, <laughs> thank that, you, thank you. that trust us. But there's a whole lot of ups and downs in that trusting process mm -hmm. because you can't trust anyone too quickly and you yeah. gotta vet them and go yeah. about that way. So. And, and there are some things you can do to make yes. that happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Some ways to do that. Yeah, for sure. Well, so uh, let, let's, but so Qualys is this whole new world. We'll get into more details of what Qualys yes. can do, but let's just stick with roofing for right now. Okay. When it comes to roofing, let's talk specifically about Fort Worth in, yeah. in this area, right? What are you seeing in this area that homeowners, um, what do you most frequently see in a Fort Worth home regarding roof mm -hmm. uh, roofs and that maybe something that Fort Worth homeowners could uh, go find themselves, right? Or go see themselves. Or um, if they can't do that, then uh, when would you recommend to bring in somebody like you to that? I mean, most people, um, I always tell people, get your roof checked out every six or 12 months. Cool. Um, there are storms that happen. It doesn't matter what time of day. I've had people at work storms have hit their home yeah. middle of the night i'm a very hard sleeper yeah if we had a big hail storm and i wasn't in roofing yeah. you know on my weather app or sitting out in the garage yeah. watching it all just yep. pound my truck uh um, right <laughs> you know i may not even hear the storm roll through yeah and so getting those frequent inspections is huge i've uh, gone to several people's homes where if they had gotten a yearly inspection yeah it would have saved them thousands of dollars wow. in damages you know um just I 
And most people don't think that. Most people no. think that if you do the inspection, that it's going to do something weird to their insurance. Right. They're always scared about that is what I've yeah. come across. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but the thing is, you know, it, any sort of hail event is considered an act of God. It should not raise your insurance right. premiums or anything like that. Um but I mean, there are some times where you could have squirrel damage. You could have yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. yes. Could yeah. have tree limbs fall on your yeah. roof, and there are some roofs that are too tall for you to see yeah. a tree limb on the roof yeah. until mm -hmm. you start to get a leak, and then it's yes. too late. That's and that's what I was yeah. gonna say. Like a roof can really lead to a lot of a lot of bigger problems mm -hmm. down the oh, road yeah. with leaks. Yeah. With, I mean, anything like that. So yeah, or rodents for sure. No, you're you're absolutely oh, right. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. you're absolutely right. Yeah, and sheetrock and flooring and just, all of it. you know, all electronics, of you all name of it. it. Yeah. I've, I've seen, yeah. I can't say I've seen it all, but I've seen a whole lot. And uh, like I said, there was a guy who had a, uh, a nail, uh, exposed nail head on a pipe jack one time. Oh my god! Where there just wasn't, uh, it's not that dramatic, but uh, there just wasn't. <laughs> I was thinking any... you were going to step on it. Sorry, that, that's no, 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 I was no. imagining where the story was headed. No, 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 no. So there was no <laughs> caulk on his nail head, right? There's no ceiling. Yeah. yeah. And um he called us up there and there is a huge dip in the roof. Yeah. Um, well, once you go inside and you're looking at the sheetrock and then the flooring damage and the baseboard damage and yeah. the roof damage, oh, wow. you're looking at a few thousand dollars worth of yeah. repairs here yeah. that's not gonna be insurance yeah. related because it's not sudden and accidental. That's been happening for a while yeah. Yeah. where if he had gotten his roof checked out the year before, yeah. we could have taken 10 seconds mm -hmm. to seal those up and he yeah. would not be out. Is some, you know that money. Is some yeah. of that uh, like code updates? Because I know that somehow some older homes just don't even have the sealant in. The, like we get that gets flagged on inspections a lot when we do it. Yeah, so that's not necessarily any sort of code coverage okay. right there. That should just be common. Place. It's just how it should have been. That's how okay. it should have been yeah. roofed. And now, mm -hmm. granted, there are some roofs that are older. You yeah. know, there there's certain part of North Arlington over yeah. off of like Lincoln and Green Oaks. Uh -huh where some of the roofs haven't been changed in 30 years because there hadn't been a really big hailstorm in that area. So wow. there's no yeah. huh. reason for insurance to buy the roof, you <laughs> right. know? And um, so, but even so, if you were to get that yearly inspection, yeah. mm -hmm. a lot of the times we'll go up there and we'll just seal stuff up for free. Yeah. I mean, it takes us 10 minutes, we're mm -hmm. already there. And if we do something, you know, it's kind of like karma, you yeah. know, you do something yeah. nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're probably going to call you back. Yeah. Um, it goes the opposite way, you know, even these storm-related events, uh, Hail could hit one house and miss five and hit another. Yeah. But if you start to see a lot of roofs going up in your area, if you have a roofer just come by and say, oh yeah, you need uh, you need a new roof, you might not have any damage whatsoever. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I always joke around and tell people, I get more business by telling people they don't need a roof. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. there's so much trust that comes from the, somebody yeah. who, right. who would earn money yeah. doing that, telling you, hey, yeah. don't worry about it. Like yeah. there's so much trust. That's oh, exactly, yeah. sure. exactly. And it's just being honest. Yeah. And I think that that might be one of the bigger issues in any industry, yeah. yes. you know, yeah. it's yeah. just honesty and transparency with yes. your homeowners. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you need to do that. And I think what's cool too, I didn't know this until like the last year, that y'all have access to all of the weather events mm -hmm. and the areas, the zip codes, the yep. neighborhoods. Yeah, well, he posts about it a lot. So, I mean, you can Notice tell. Yeah. You, can, you can tell when, when it might actually need to have a new roof or not. Yeah, so, there, yeah. there's a uh, an app called Hail Trace, which will tell you, um, you know, it'll, it'll tell you any weather event in that area. I just got off of a roof in South Grand Prairie today. Yeah. And they actually have four hail events. The largest was a four inch hail event. Whoa. Um, oh, wow. And then the smaller ones were an inch and a quarter, which is still big enough to sure. damage your roof. Yeah. But the cool thing is the algorithm isn't just meteorological events. It also goes based off of like social media and what people are posting and pictures oh, wow. and where they are oh, at. Wow. Um, <laughs> and it, it kind of intertwines all of that, yeah. which is kind of neat because yeah. Yeah. you yeah. I mean, it's it's just wow. a really good tool, but you never really know if there's going to be any sort of damage to your roof until you actually look on the sure. roof. Yeah. So. Wow. Well, so great segue because my next question is: walk us through roof inspection. Like when you're up there, what are you looking for? What are you seeing? Like, how, what's your process for doing something like that? Mm -hmm. So whenever I look at a roof, um, if a homeowner says, "Hey, I've got a leak," you know, I always want to be inside the house looking at where the leak is, find a window, and kind of spot you know, something outside that I'm like, okay, the leak is right here about 10 feet from the window. It's about five feet from that tree. Okay. And then I go on the roof and look and, and nine out of 10 times, roof leaks are the easiest to spot once you're on top of the roof because it's usually a nail pop where the nail has wiggled up through the shingle over time. It could be okay. some uh, some bad flashing. Yeah. It could be yeah, yeah, yeah. something mm -hmm. wasn't flashed correctly. Yeah. It could be a missing shingle. Those are easy mm -hmm. ones. Yeah. There have only been a handful of times where I've gone onto a roof and I've had no idea where the leak is coming from. Mm. And at that point, you kind of have to do exploratory yeah. surgery because water <laughs> finds the easiest way in. Yeah. 
you know, and those are just kind of freak accidents. They don't happen very often. Sure. Yeah. Um, but whenever I get to a home and I'm looking um, or I'm inspecting a roof, mm -hmm. I always kind of take pictures from the ground level on all sides of the roof. I okay. find the easiest access point up. Um, if it's too steep or it's too old and all the granules are uh, falling off, yeah. that's like walking on rollerblades on a roof. Sure. Oh, really? And so yes, um, I might break out the drone at that point <laughs> nice. in time. Cool. Um, the, the chance of you falling might be oh, really yeah. big. Yeah, yeah, I'm batting a thousand on not falling <laughs> off a roof. So we're gonna nice, yes. congrats. Wow. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, but no, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the, um, you know, how old the shingle is, mm -hmm. you know, is it a fresh looking shingle? Mm -hmm. Is it an older looking shingle? Is there algae on a roof? Typically shingles wow. have a 10 year algae warranty. There's like copper and zinc on the, that's oh, wow. uh, fabricated in the shingle how to stop that algae um, from growing. Yeah. And so if it's a ton of algae on the roof, I know it's probably 10 years old. Huh. Average roof life in Texas for your, for yeah, your shingles it? are probably anywhere between 15 to 18 years okay, old. Okay. They boast a 30 year or yeah. old school right, 40 yeah, year yeah. term. Yeah. That's in perfect weather. Yeah. And Texas does not abide by those rules. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. And so um, <laughs> usually it's because of weather events, yeah. just in the extreme heat and extreme cold, it just deteriorates your roofing product. Wow. You know, you can get into the slates and the tiles and the stone coated steels and all of that. Yeah. Those will last for a very long time. I mean, yeah. there are still roofs up their tile that have been on for a hundred years and Jeez. they're fine, you know? Wow. Um, uh -huh. wow. But as far as a regular shingle goes, I'm looking for the the shape that the shingle is in. Okay. Um, I'm looking for any red flags, those nail pops we mm -hmm. mentioned earlier, the flashings. I'm looking to see if the vents and soft metals on the roof yeah. are completely battered or if those look pretty fresh. <laughs> um, if the vents are painted, because that kind of protects it from rust for okay, a while, sure. um, anything like that. Yeah. And uh, then of course we're looking for hail damage, you know? Yeah. Wind damage is pretty easy. Yeah. You go through mm -hmm. a neighborhood, see some shingles missing. Yeah. It's very seldom you spot hail damage from the ground level unless it's just a massive hail yeah. event that lasted a while. Yeah. Um, your typical hail storms only last, you know, five minutes right. or so, sure. but it's enough yeah. to do damage. Yep. Um, yeah, you get out severe. into Frisco and Wiley mm -hmm. and Lantana yeah. where they last 30 minutes and yeah. it looks like this roof was like built a, by Dalmatians. So, you know, <laughs> just like a war zone. Like exactly. A war zone. Well, we had a car totaled because mm -hmm. of hail. Yeah. One yep. year, remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. it's ridiculous the damage yeah. it causes. But I'm looking for all of those things. And if I get on a roof and there's no hail damage and nothing's wrong, I usually tell the homeowner, hey, nothing's wrong. Typically, there's one or two things that could be better. Um, like, hey, your last roofer got to seal up these fasteners yeah. or hey, your pipe jack, you know, a lot of people don't know lead pipe jacks are like squirrel magnets. They sharpen their teeth on the pipe what? jacks. Is that why they're around those all the time? Yeah, they're yeah. Roof and like uh, yeah. then the squirrels get lead poisoning and die. And then, you know, but it causes <laughs> holes in your pipe jack and <laughs> those are always in between the walls. And so wow. you're not gonna see those leaks on your ceiling. Wow. You know, oh. um, that could be all sort of organic mm -hmm. growth in the house yep. that you yep. don't want. Yep. So once again, those those inspections are, are yeah, key for deal. a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's not just every roofer trying to sell you a new roof when you don't need one. Yeah. It's like, hey, I'd rather watch out for you because mm -hmm. as a homeowner myself, mm -hmm. you know, I would want to know if there are red flags yeah. that I can yeah. fix for a couple hundred yeah. bucks now or something yep. Yep. At, as opposed to a year down the road mm -hmm. having a mold remediation. Yes. Team oh, come oh my gosh. Right. What a huge, right. like, what a huge ordeal that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd gosh. be outrageous. You have to it's move expensive. Out. Yeah. You have to move out for a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's not so, fun. So you're you're really advocating maintenance. Yes. Like, well, that's what's been the, asking. The inspection yeah. is like mm -hmm. maintenance. Program. Yeah. And is there yeah. any maintenance in between? There would be my question for a homeowner to do. Is there, well, I had this inspection the other day where the general inspector said, um, if the attic gets too hot, it can reduce the age of the roof. Yes. And so... I mean, obviously things like that, like and, making sure your attic's insulated well yeah. and that kind yep. of stuff. Anything else, that, you know, along those lines? Yeah, proper ventilation is huge okay. because um, a lot of people, when when we look at hail damage, especially if you're new, you're like, hey, this is hail damage. Well, no, that's actually a blister. It's that oh, attic wow. getting so hot, it's cooking the shingle from the inside wow. out, you know? Um, and you can Google roof hail damage and roof blisters, and uh, there's a pretty notable... Is there? Yeah, notable difference in there. Yeah. Um hmm. And so that's a big one, proper ventilation, making sure everything is sealed cool. up properly and uh, make sure you have a good quality material up there. Cool. You know, mm -hmm. I won't speak ill of, of any manufacturer out there because sure. everyone has their good and their bad, sure. just like your cars, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people yeah, who yeah. love Fords, people who hate Fords, you know? Right. Um, but it's just, I, I think it, it comes back to um, trusting who you're working with making sure the materials are the right materials yeah. for your home mm -hmm. and then just getting that regular maintenance because here's the thing 
no matter what roofer you call out, we're probably not going to charge you to inspect your roof yeah. mm -hmm. in the hopes that if there is some damage, you yeah. know, you use us for that business. That's yep. just mm -hmm. the name of the game. Yep. Um, I don't know many other trades that do that. Yep. You know, every time I get a plumber to my house, yeah, it's a couple exactly. hundred bucks, yeah. electricians, a couple hundred yeah. bucks. But yes. when it comes to roofing, um, a lot of the people I work with are just happy to help yes. and happy to get to mm -hmm. know people. Yes. And, you know, it, it's just, it's, mm -hmm. it's cool to yeah. talk to different people and see different situations. Yeah. And you can see something on a roof today that you may not see again for five years, wow. but you'll remember the one time you saw it and you'll sure. know how to fix it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just yeah. from that yeah, one yeah. experience. Yeah. yeah. And, do so. and you all provide some kind of a report or something. To yeah. So or? for our realtors, we provide a, a no before you list report where mm -hmm. we can, you know, every, every time y'all have a home inspector out, it always says, contact yep. a, a qualified it's roofing death. contractor to yep. take a look at it. Yep. Um, and so as soon as a house goes on the market or and, someone- And then he's usually out the next day. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. it's yeah, that the fast. Like the, the next day. Next, if not yeah. that afternoon, yeah, the next day. That flexible schedule <laughs> you just for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, um, we appreciate that. It's amazing. Hey everyone, real quick before we get back to the show. If you're on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, we'd love to connect with you. We post a lot of content like this in case you miss an episode, along with more Fort Worth and surrounding suburb, local insights and finds. You can find our team at the Christenberry Group on all social platforms, or you can connect with Jackson and I personally on our Facebook and our Instagram accounts. Just be prepared for lots of pictures of my grandson on either account. Now back to the show. Yeah, but um, getting those reports out are insurance agents. A lot of yeah. insurance agents need to know if the roof is at least 10 years old because they could do, you know, especially insurance is so expensive right mm -hmm. now. If your roof is newer than 10 years old, you might qualify for discounts. Or if it's mm -hmm. a class four yeah. impact resistant right. roof, you could get discounts that way as well. Cool. Um, there are just a lot of things. And obviously just your general homeowner report, yeah. you know, throw some pictures in there, mm -hmm. say, these are some red flags I saw. This is what it would take to fix it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, if your roof is low enough slope, just, you know, it's not dangerous to get on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most homeowners can probably get on their roof uh, if they had the right knowledge and right yeah. tools to seal something up or yeah. replace something. Mm -hmm. um, but we're the professionals and we have no problem mm -hmm. getting on your roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And you're insured. Yeah, we're insured, Bonded, licensed, all, all that, that good you're stuff. Licensed and the thing that I like is that you guys have such a stable business mm -hmm. and time. you've been in business, business long enough that you're not one of those guys that comes knocking at the door when there's a hail storm and then a year later when you need the warranty work done or something like that done. So we don't we're disappear. Not, yeah, we're, we're not, not your typical yeah. stereotypical storm chasers. We yeah. still have our guys who go out and knock neighborhoods sure. because mm -hmm. that's like I it's said, a great source of business. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's that's marketing at its finest. Yep. Um but yeah, we've been in business long enough. We don't storm chase. You know, we have our branch here. We have uh, one or two of our uh, people who go out to Kansas uh, mm -hmm. because we kind of have a sister construction company oh, cool. up there, the cousin of one of the partners, the managing partners. Um, but we we stay local. Mm -hmm. And so if you have an issue, and that's another thing yeah. that I see a lot of people not take advantage of when they have an issue, they don't necessarily yeah, call bet. their roofer back. They call yeah. someone else or... You know, I'm like, if there's an issue and I put on your roof, I need to be the first call mm. because, yeah. mm. Grant, yeah. it's construction. Not everything goes 100% yeah. perfectly every time. Definitely. There's always room for error. Yep. Mm. And so, um, you know, if you have a an issue or something doesn't look right to you, call me back and give me the yeah. opportunity to fix it. Yeah. It's not going to cost you anything because mm -hmm. yeah. we just did your roof. We need mm -hmm. to do it right. Um, it doesn't happen very often. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that yeah. now. But mm -hmm. at the same time, if or when it does happen... We're back the next day yeah. to take care of it. Yeah, yeah. that's it. And that's what we encourage our clients yep. because we have had clients that used a kind of somebody that just kind of blew in mm -hmm. to sell a roof and then they blew back out of town yep. and they had no recourse yeah. yep. uh, when they had trouble with their roof. Yeah. So. And that's, you yeah. know, there, there are some very, very, very good roofing companies who do chase storms. They have people scattered throughout the nation and sometimes they deal with just specialty roofs. Sometimes mm -hmm. they deal with all sorts of roofs wow. and um, they're able to do that really well. Mm -hmm. But there are still, you know, you don't need a license in Texas to roof. Right. You yeah. need a license to give people massages or to cut hair. How mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. bizarre. It's like the wild west out what? here, you know, but um, we have all the voluntary licenses you can get through RCAD mm -hmm. and, and wow. RTCA and yeah. I forget. But um, <laughs> we have all those licenses yep. that we're able to because even though they are not required, it gives people a sense of peace. And Good it also time. shows that we are not that, you know, chucking a truck. Yeah, you're not that's just, yep. yeah exactly. Yep. Yeah. So that's, that's what we what we really like. Yeah. yeah. We just want to be above board and everywhere. Yeah. yeah, that's great, man. Yeah, yeah. that's great. 
All right, so that's that's roofing. So mm -hmm. let's let's move on from from roofing. So talk to me about Qualys and everything that's, that's not roofing that Qualys can do for a home. Mm -hmm. So we are general contractors. Yep. So um, I actually put in blown in insulation the other day cool. for uh, a gentleman in Pantigo when we just did his roof. Yeah, um, we do whole home remodels, outdoor living spaces. Are do you really? Age. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So and, and we, laying that laying the laying the concrete and everything. Oh, no, no. For outdoor living okay. spaces, yes. Yeah. 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 Don't call us for your foundation. Okay. Right. That's that's a huge liability. Yeah. We're like, you'll save money. Go with a foundation yeah. expert with that. Yeah. But when it comes to outdoor living spaces, mm -hmm. windows, doors, painting, anything like that, we are outdoor happy to kitchens, do it. Outdoor kitchens. Yeah, we, we specialize yeah. in outdoor living um, okay. and entertainment spaces. And then uh, we recently uh, jumped into generators. Um, about yeah. a year ago, That's and that great. is skyrocketed. We have a great team um, <laughs> that are awesome. dedicated specifically to generators and installing them and getting your home up. Yeah, running. man. Oh, wow. So that's, that's really cool. That's real popular now. Well, yeah. yeah there's After the a, polar vortex. Yes. Well, exactly. <laughs> It would be more like, oh, I really wish I had that. Yeah. yeah, I feel like a lot of people either went solar or generator yes. after yeah. that. And yeah. uh, I think the thing with solar is you have to have backup batteries that right. can power your house for 24 to 72 yep. hours. Yep. Um, with generators, you need a gas line. Yep. And you're good to go. And they're awesome. a lot less expensive than solar. Yep. Um, but we actually had a client a year ago, I think, who... Um, if she had the generator, it was you know fourteen or $15,000. Um, she wouldn't have had that water line freeze oh, over oh and cause $90,000 worth of yes, damage. Sure. She was out of her sure. house for eight months. Yep. I mean, yep. taking $15,000 or financing it for 170 yep. a month or whatever it may be. Well, that's I nothing compared to what a solar panel would be too. Like mm -hmm. Yeah, 15, like that's solar, solar, solar is so expensive. Oh, yeah. solar is very expensive. Yeah. And yeah. Um, luckily, you know, I've, I've partnered with a, color, so a couple of solar experts. Yeah who make it very easy to understand cool. because it is a pretty complex industry. Yes, um, and it changes and all the time. It does, and uh, they do a really good job of mm -hmm. showing you, hey, you're you're dropping hundreds of thousands of dollars in electricity over you know, these 25 mm -hmm. years or so. You go solar for this much, yeah. you actually can sell power back to the grid, you can do all yeah. sorts of really cool stuff, mm -hmm. but um, our generator uh, sales have taken off immensely. So yeah. we pretty much do everything from the roof below um, okay. and we do it really well. Great. We have a dedicated team just for construction. Yep. Um, one of the companies I was with uh, several years ago, I was in charge of estimating for kitchens and baths and roofs oh, yeah. and outdoor stuff. Uh -huh. um, and now I just have to worry about roofs. Yeah. And that has That's sweet given game. me such a peace of mind <laughs> sure. because yeah. Yeah. estimating for all the other stuff is yeah. very time consuming. Yeah. And then the person might not even go with you. Right. You know, you're yep. diving into five, six hours of estimating. Yep. And yeah. now we have a construction team yeah. um, and they, they do a phenomenal job. Cool. Great. They, they do. From design on, like, can they also help design? Yep. Wow. Yep, they can help design it, okay. build it, bring your dreams to life. Cool. Okay. Yep. From the ground up to kind of stuff? Like yeah. you're talking like build on a vacant property kind of stuff? Um, we have the ability to, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. I don't necessarily know if we have done yeah. that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you have all the ways to do but it. But our, so. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Well, that's cool. really cool. That's really good yeah. to know. I had yeah. no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is it's really a, cool. It's a lot yeah. of fun. Our uh, yeah. company was started in 2019. Um, I think one of the big things I love about our company is that most roofing companies are born from an ex-roofer who either got uh -huh. stiffed on paycheck uh -huh. or had a bad experience uh -huh. with the company and they're like, I can do this better mm -hmm. myself. You know, our company is managed by partners who came from tech, real estate, and Great. HVAC, commercial HVAC yeah. work. And uh, they're just very good businessmen in general cool. and saw okay. a huge opportunity yeah. and built the company up yeah. the right way. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Sounds very stable, very business oriented, very, yes. very business. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of fun, That's but good. it's a lot of fun when you're working with the right people. Yeah, yeah. it makes yeah. it so much better. Yes, yeah. it absolutely does. does. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk. Like, give me horror stories. Give me like what is one of the worst or craziest, or most challenging experiences you've had in mm. this line of work. Here we go. Something interesting. So one interesting thing: uh, a roof is. Um, you know, the slope of a roof is done in pitches. Okay. You know, yep. 212, 16, 12, whatever. The yep. lower the number, the lower the slope is, more walkable. Yep. Um, I was on a roof that was a 10, 12 roof. So it's it's not walkable at all, okay. realistically. Okay. But you can scurry up a valley of a roof and get four touch points and be fine. Jeez. Well, wow. I rolled up to this house and I thought, man, this is a designer shingle. This isn't a standard shingle. Uh -huh. This is high dollar shingle. Yeah. And then I got closer and I realized it wasn't. Uh -oh. The roof had actually been painted. 
Um, painted, with painted the paint? roof? Painted with Rust-Oleum oh, paint. Out. Yeah, exactly. Rust-Oleum. <laughs> Rust-Oleum, black what? Rust-Oleum paint. This lady was... Rust-Oleum? Yeah, yeah. She was, um, <laughs> she was convinced that critters were getting into her house. Okay. And so she spent an entire summer, a summer in Texas, mind you. Oh, oh. gosh. Um, caulking and sealing every crevice and crack of the shingle, wherever they, wherever the joints she did were. It herself? And she was oh. probably 65. Oh in, in a Texas summer, in Texas summer, summer on the roof. Yeah. That's this steep that you're yes, talking about. Yes. What? And uh, she painted the roof. And then when she asked me to go and inspect the roof, um, I watched her put on her gardening Crocs. <laughs> And she got up the roof with me. Oh, my what? goodness. Yes. It was one of the scariest moments. Oh, I thought, I this is the day I witnessed somebody's death. Yep. This is not okay. Yep. I don't feel comfortable with have her that, being up here. Uh, have that Simba moment oh. where you're you're holding him over the, the Yeah, camera. no. Like, I've been saving her. That'd be so bad. Um, <laughs> I on that lady. Oh, my goodness. That's one horror story. Um, wow, man. I don't know what kind of horror story you're looking for. <laughs> Just any, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty, pretty great. bad. That's pretty good. That, that's, I mean, that's a pretty good yeah. one. That's unusual. Yeah. That's very unusual. Man. Yeah. yeah, like I said, yeah. batting a thousand on not falling off the <laughs> Let's roots. keep it that way. <laughs> um, but aside from that, you know, it's it's yeah. typically, um, I would say most horror stories from roofers and uh, and homers usually comes from miscommunication. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they aren't sure. setting the correct expectations because yes. you want to promise someone the world, yeah. but you're typically going to fall short. So mm-hmm. if you under promise and over deliver, yeah. everyone is happy in the end. And then, mm-hmm. like I said, just making sure that if something does go wrong, you be the first to mention it yes. and say, hey, listen, yes. we screwed this part up. Yep. We're going to be back immediately yep. to fix it. Yep. Whereas I think a lot of people would just be like, maybe they won't see that. Yeah. And they go about their day. And then a month later, you're getting a call from someone from who's lawyer. really angry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But outside of that, I I could name off a dozen horror stories, but I don't want to on, public, <laughs> on a public forum like this. <laughs> we appreciate you sharing the one. Yeah, that was pretty great. That was roof. awesome. All right. So we've already, we've already uh, talked about this a lot so far. So, um, in the situation of a roofer knocking on a door, mm-hmm. this is a random roofer, new to town, you know, storm chasing kind of thing. What, um, that's a really common experience for like, my, I've had that happen a ton of times yep. in my house. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a yeah. very common experience for most people, right? Yep. What uh, advice would you give to the homeowner opening that door to, to this roofer that they don't know? Uh, what... To like vet them. Well, to vet them or just like, what do they need to know? How do they make sure that they stay covered and prepared and they don't get in, in bed with somebody who's really going to screw them? I mean, the big thing is I would I would find a way to vet them. Yeah. You know, um, mm-hmm. I am terrible when people knock on my door. Yeah. I've switched pest control companies three times this year <laughs> because I am the easiest person yeah. to get sold yeah. to, yeah. sadly. Yeah. And Love my it. wife Love will it. watch this and verify. Yeah. Um, but I think the, the big thing is... Um, Make sure they have general liability insurance because okay. you don't want them to fall off your roof and then mm-hmm. that's on your home yep. insurance or however that all works, you know? Yeah. Um, you don't want that to happen. Facebook them. Yep. Google them. You, you know, I yep. I have no problem Facebooking yep. people uh-huh. at all. I want to see yep. what kind of person they are, yep. you know? Um, maybe see if most people don't go knocking by themselves. They usually have a team. Yeah. Go talk to their team lead. Mm-hmm. Cool. You know, see, just get a good vibe mm-hmm. of the person. Yeah. Um, if you don't get a good vibe at the door, you know, and you're you're one of the few to actually open the door yeah. and and say yes. hello as opposed to looking through the window uh-huh. and shaking your head. Yeah. You know, um, if you get a good vibe from that person, just just question them. Say, hey, what are you doing here? Yeah. You know, they'll probably say, hey, you know, we've had storms throughout this area. We're actually doing a roof down, down the, the street road. with Miss yeah. Johnson. Mm-hmm. Um, a big thing is if they name drop a neighbor. Yeah. Holler at that neighbor, yeah, because Mrs. Yeah. Johnson can be used in pretty much every neighborhood, yeah, because right. there are a lot well, of that's them. That's a great point. Um, mm-hmm. And so, luckily, you know, we're doing a ton of roofs in my neighborhood mm-hmm. right now. Yep. And uh, I was training the guys, and we knocked on one of our neighbor's doors, mm-hmm. like, "Hey, you don't know me, but you see my three redheaded kids running throughout <laughs> the street, throwing the football, oh, and hitting great. each other with things." Yep. Um, they're like, "Oh, yeah, how you are you doing?" <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, but, or I could say, hey, we just did Jeff's roof next door. Mm-hmm. Did you, you heard us yesterday? Yeah. Like the song of my people at 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And so just, I, I would say if you get a good vibe from them, yeah. if you're, if you're a big sickler about it, you know, ask for the general liability insurance. Yeah. Yeah. All of our team that goes out and knocks, they have these yeah. green folders. It has everything about deductible policies, has everything about um, any sort of uh, voluntary licenses we have, cool. our general liability yeah. insurance. Cool insurance numbers in case you need to make a claim and you aren't sure who to call. Yeah. You know, a lot of people will 
um, not know to call their agent or mm-hmm. they may just call insurance out of the blue. Yeah. Thing is, you need to verify if you actually have damage or yeah. not mm-hmm. um, so that you don't fall under an unpaid claim category with yeah. your insurance agent because that's just kind of a black mark against you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and that is something that is pretty common for them to actually be carrying around their general liability insurance and we can actually confirm if it. They're legit, yeah. it sounds like yeah. If they're legit. Yeah. If they're legit. Yeah. I mean, okay. we had a tree trimmer walk through our neighborhood a few months ago and he's like, he looked at my house and I've gotten quotes trimming trees. We got 19 trees Ooh. on nice. our lot. Nice. Um, and I've gotten expensive. quotes. Yeah. I've gotten large quotes to trim yeah. these trees and canopy sure. them. And this guy's like, I'll trim all these trees for two fifty. And I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's 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 about a tenth of what we've been quoted. So it sounds great. And yeah. I, he gave me his card uh-huh. and I looked him up and I found that there were 14 businesses under his name and all of them had F ratings. Yikes. And then I yeah. actually uh, yeah. threw it out on our neighborhood mm-hmm. uh, Facebook yeah. page yeah. Yeah. that all the moms and dads and whatnot, and it's like 50 or 60 of us, and I'm like, hey, just so y'all know, be careful. This yeah. guy's going mm-hmm. out and doing this. And then five people popped up like, yeah, this guy was around here three years ago. Hey. And uh, he said he would do this, never did it, and then demanded money from yes. us. And so it was yeah. the same deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do your research. Do your research on yeah. people, yeah. you know. And I, yeah. I would think that the best way, if you don't want someone knocking on your door, um, Holler at someone and say, hey, does anyone have a roofer they recommend? Yeah. Do you yeah. have someone yeah. you've had good experiences sure. yeah, with? Yeah. And then that roofer will be more than happy to put a sign in your window or a sign in your yard. Yeah. Um, another thing is uh, no soliciting signs. Uh-huh. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah. I, I know people who mm-hmm. knock no soliciting yep. homes. Yep. Being a homeowner who has had three yes. babies <laughs> yes. in my home when we've had a baby sleeping do yes. not knock oh, sign. Oh, my gosh, yes. Um, and oh. then we hear the doorbell and we hear a knock. You hear the crying. And then you're... And then you're messing with a really furious homeowner Absolutely. Um, yes. but oh. you, you're not allowed to knock yep. you no know, soliciting doors in a lot of places when you solicit you have to have an orange vest and mm-hmm. a, a license from the city or a permit yeah mm-hmm. um and so there are a lot of things that you could do to vet people out yeah cool a lot that's good advice that's great well and, and, yeah, and, and really so that so that y'all know i mean they're really they're one of the main reasons we have travis on today is because we want to do that work for you like right we really do a lot of business with travis and his team and we really want you to know that we trust him a whole bunch mm-hmm. and, and it's tried and true. It's not just like a one-off, right? It's tried and true. And right. so we really, for years. This, is, for years. this is a great option for you if you're in need. That, that's half the reason he's yeah. here today. <laughs> it's because we really trust him. Thank you. Yeah, Absolutely. of course. <laughs> yes. Of course, man. We, we have vetted him. Yeah, big time. Yes. And he yeah. is well vetted. Well, um, talk to me about, so let's say I've hired Qualys, mm-hmm. roof or, or construction or whatever, right? I've hired them to come out. What is that, as, as, the, as the homeowner who's hired y'all, What's my experience going to be like? Like, how are you making sure you keep my trust throughout this whole process? What does that experience look like? Communication is key, okay. right? Um, so I actually have a, a gentleman who um, we did a porch extension for on cool. the front of his house because it was kind of a flat front of the house. Yep. And he's like, man, it'd be really great if we could sit out here. So we yep. actually built, in addition to the foundation, poured the concrete slab, yep. built up columns, built a roof coming out of his sidewall. Cool. Like really cool deal. And that was two or three years ago. And um, he called me up about a month ago and said, hey, I have a leak. So went, checked it out, said, hey, you do have a leak. It's going to be this much to fix or it's time for a new roof. This roof's about 15 years old. It's a yeah. three tab roof, which is a lower quality roof. Yeah. Um, I said, call out your insurance. Let's get this roof bought. All you have to pay out pocket is your deductible. Great. That's it. Yeah. He's like, let's give it a shot. Yeah. You know? Met the insurance out there. Um, as soon as the scope of work from insurance, the carrier estimate came in, mm-hmm. we reviewed it. We were able to actually upgrade him um, mm-hmm. to a higher quality shingle. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a, a really, he had for a For the same deductible. Yeah, yeah, for the same deductible, yeah. you know, um, there is enough money in there to work with that. Um, and we, uh, he got a check from insurance, sent it off to mortgage company. Um, he signed the contract, spoke to he and his wife. We picked out colors, we picked out gutter colors, strip edge color. He went from a weathered wood roof, which is like the blue jeans of roofing. Okay. It goes with whatever color you have on the <laughs> yeah. home. Yeah. stone. Yeah. Um, it's just very brown gray. Yeah. And he's going with a jet black roof, um, cool. which is going to look really nice cool. on this corner lot in yeah. Kendale. Cool. Um, and so we got the contract signed. He texted me a few days ago. Hey, the check is back for mortgage. We're doing his roof tomorrow. We'll have his roof wrapped up in one cool. day. Um, as soon as his roof is done, we'll have uh, we have interns that work with us. Cool. And uh, we'll have them go out and magnet the yard. I'll go out and magnet the yard, 
We'll have project managers on site all day, Would never making thought sure that. everything detail. goes well. Mm, that's yeah. really interesting. Yeah, yeah, landscape protection around the house. He has a little girl, um, okay. and mm -hmm. we don't want her stepping on nails, yep. so we're going to be we're going to be meticulous cool. with the with the magnet sweeps. And um, once it's all said and done, we'll get with insurance and the completion letter. He'll get his final check, pay us the rest of the money, and we'll be good. He okay. uh, has that standard five year labor warranty, yep. like a thirty year manufacturer warranty. Um, wow. And we just try and make it as seamless as possible, especially yeah. this close to Christmas. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, yep. it, you'd think it's slowed down, but it's actually picked up quite a bit. I think really? we did five roofs last week, six wow. this week. Um, we've already got two or three scheduled for next week wow. after Christmas. Wow. 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 Surprising. Yeah. yeah. And so um, big thing is communication, you yeah. know, just, hey, we're going to need your driveway for the day. Make sure you park out in the street. Yep. Mm -hmm. Materials will be delivered the roof's going on tomorrow. Materials were delivered today yep. um, around lunchtime. Yep. Yep. He was like, can you make sure they're on the right side of the driveway yep. so I can get my truck out tonight yep. and then I'll move it? Cool. Absolutely. Um, but a cool thing is, you know, it's not just me you have to rely on. Like, I'm the face that you work with. Yeah. We have a whole back office yeah. of the company cool. that yeah. if insurance forgot yep. to pay for something, they go back with photo documentation saying, hey, this is what you missed, please send more money. Mm -hmm. And insurance is like, okay, yeah. here you go. Yeah. Um, we don't ask for anything above and beyond. We just ask for what's there because yeah. that's what insurance is supposed to do. They're paying for what it was pre-storm loss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your pre-loss mm -hmm. condition. Sure. Sure. And so, um, you know, once that's wrapped up, I'll probably go and magnet another time just to make sure. And the crew's magneting as well as soon as they're done picking up debris yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, pick up any leftover material and leave a nice, happy, clean home. Yeah. It's cool. Great. Yeah. That's great. really great. Sounds pretty seamless. So yep. we, in our back office, takes care of all the insurance paperwork. Yeah. Um, we take care of everything mm -hmm. else. Yep. And, and so y'all really do coordinate finger. and work with insurance people yep. during this process all the time. too. All the time. Because so, a lot of times the, home, the homeowner doesn't want to do all that. No, no. I mean, like I said, homeowners, you have a life, you have a family, yeah. you have other obligations. This yep. is at... You know, this is inconvenience, yep. really. Yeah. Yep. You know, your home is being taken over for a day, possibly yep. two days, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so typically what happens is whenever I meet someone and we're getting a claim going, I'm like, hey, who's your agent? Let me give them a call. Yep. Let me tell them, hey, okay. we're doing their roof. If yep. you need anything from me, holler. Man. Man. If I need anything from you, what? we'll get with you. Yeah. What a touch. Um, yeah. Wow. And then, yes. you wow, know, wow, we'll wow. reach out to adjusters Great. and just take care of everything for you. Man. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Keep it That's easy. That's fantastic. Keep it easy. Okay. Yeah. Well, wrapping up, um, man, uh, just a more personal question. Uh, you know, around town, is there anything that you think people should know about around town? Not roofing, not construction, restaurants, places to play, to places you can take your kids. Oh, Any man. insider information for somebody? I'll tell you what, um, in Mansfield, there's uh -huh. a, a play park at the Field House off 280. You're a fan of that? Broad. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. That is a great place run, cool. uh, run by a guy named Doug. He does a phenomenal job. Cool. Um, it's a lot of fun to take your yeah. kids. Um they're just, I think Crossroads has a huge live yeah. nativity yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we went there last oh, weekend. Yeah. It was yeah, it's amazing. Epic. It's epic. It was crazy <laughs> huge. I've not seen a nativity wow. yes. play. Yeah. Like, it's it's incredible. Yeah, it looks like a circus as you're driving by. Yeah. Like, My it's, yeah, goodness. It's, yeah, it's absolutely. Yeah. So um, those are those are some of the big things that come to mind right yeah. now, you know. It's cool. Um, but cool. that's what I would do. Very cool. It's good. All right. Well, I think we've covered most of these last questions I've got. Um, how can our listeners get in touch with you? How can mm -hmm. they engage with you um, for roofing or construction or any of that kind of stuff? Yeah. So um, you can look us up at qualisgc.com. Okay. Uh, you can call me directly. Do I give my phone number? Whatever you want to do. 682 552 7052. You can Facebook us. We're, we're big on social media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can find us on there. Ask for Travis or the Vanilla Gorilla. Um, <laughs> And uh, you forgot about that one, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Man. Or we're right over that's, by... That's uh, going to be the, the title the, of this video. The just Vanilla so you know. Gorilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Kristen Berry's first the Vanilla Gorilla. We'll leg wrestle later. Um, but uh, no, we're, we're oh, right off of uh, 303 in Green Oaks by Oak Ridge in the Police Training Center. And so mm -hmm. if you ever need anything, mm -hmm. holler back at us. Yep. We have great reviews on Google as well. Um, yeah. We just... We just want to make sure we do things the right way and leave leave a good impression everywhere we yeah. go. Cool, man. Well, we should appreciate you being here. We yeah, do. It's really my do. pleasure. Yeah, my we pleasure, do. man. Appreciate Thank you, you for having me. Yes, mm -hmm. appreciate you taking care of all of our people. Yes, big time. Yeah. Cool. All right, y'all. Well, that's all we got for today. I hope you enjoyed the podcast, and we'll catch you back next week. See you soon.
Hey, thank you so much for watching the podcast today. If this has been valuable for you at all, we sure could use your help getting the word out to more people. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, go ahead and give us a follow and consider taking just maybe two minutes um, to leave us a review. Both do wonders for our show with the algorithm and on both platforms, all you gotta do, head over to our show page on Spotify, hit three dots and select rate. And on Apple, all you gotta do is just scroll down to the show and say, leave a review. So you just click that. If you're seeing this on Facebook or Instagram, a like or comment puts all the good vibes out in the algorithm for us. And on YouTube, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new episode. Join us again next week for more Fort Worth housing news and updates. Until then, y'all have a great week.